Hey, what's up? It's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we are blasting the self-titled by Witch. Awesome, awesome fucking riffage and killer doom. I love this album so fucking much. Killer stuff from Guys and Dinosaur Jr., which is just makes it even just better like because dinosaur jr is awesome and then add the dinosaur jr vibe with some fucking sludgy doom and you get some pretty fucking cool results and that is witch's self-titled release and the cassette is on hamburger records <laughs> or burger records and uh, the CD version is on TP Records. Awesome stuff. Killer riffs. Just very memorable as well. And uh, today, uh, this just reminded me. I was listening to um, the self-titled Witch. And I was like, oh, fuck. I have uh, the fourth album by Kaesa, uh, Static Tension. Which is, uh, well, Static Tensions. I'm sorry. But this is chock full of awesome awesome like progressive sludge if that makes any fucking sense at all that's kind of the vibe that this album puts out amazing artwork by john balesy from uh baroness and um that's kind of the vibe you get on this album but also the melvin's worship is strong with this one um Laura Pleasant's vocals go from aggressive to beautiful, and it's just awesome. She does a great performance when it comes to female vocals, and this is, in my opinion, her at her fucking prime. But what I mean by Melvin's, like, like, like a love letter to the Melvins, what I mean is you have two drummers, you have fucking riffs that straight up sound like early Melvin's riffs or even you know all the way up to Stoner Witch and Houdini style riffage I'm not sure when the Melvins had two drummers going on but I've seen live footage and it was just amazing so it just works really really well on this release right here like especially with headphones this is one of the few albums where there is a Pink Floyd influence alongside a fucking ton of other bands like Early Baroness, there's like a Mastodon vibe, Neurosis, Melvin's, Tar, I Hate God, fucking High on Fire, Converge, just, and even fucking Crowbar, like throw all that into a blender with female vocals and I would also like if you like agoraphobic nosebleeds arc EP which um had Kat pretty much doing her best fucking Mike Williams impersonation and agoraphobic nosebleed going from grind straight into sludgy doomy waters on that EP this is right up there when it comes to female fronted sludge and awesomeness like i love this release like probably my favorite tracks have to be um running red pretty much based on the piano intro alone it's just like fucking wow it's so good um unknown awareness is sick scapegoat said and done almost lost and to walk alone so this is another one of those albums where straight through it's just non-stop fucking fire like seriously everything about this is awesome it was on a lot of people's albums of the year list back in 2009 and um i remember loving this and loving seeing this band live and I haven't seen them live since they um, headlined Dude Fest two nights in a row in 2009 because somebody couldn't make it or something. I forget, but they played two nights in a row as headliners and fucking killed it. Like, like I said, it was 2009, so they were touring on this with two drummers. It was massive. 
was so fucking loud, so good. Laura is a great front woman, and everything about this lineup is my favorite form of Kaesa or Kalesa, whatever you want to call it. I just Kalesa, Kalesa. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? But Laura Pleasance on guitar and vocals, Philip Cope on guitar, vocals, and samples. Carl McGinley on drums and piano, Eric Hernandez on drums, bass, guitar, and drums on Insomnia for months, and Javier Villajaz on bass. And just awesome, awesome artwork by um, John Balesy. I love his just, his style of artwork. It's just amazing to begin with so this is just sick especially with the pink uh font it just fucking looks so goddamn good i need to get this on 12 inch because i would love to see the artwork way bigger just the whole vibe to this album super fucking good it's just a really really sick album to listen to like I mean, it's like crusty at times, but at the same time, it's mostly like a progressive sludgy type sound, like kind of early Mastodon, early High on Fire, but then you throw in like that hardcore and punk edge alongside like some female vocals, which are super like just pissed off at points and then at other times like when she uses her cleaner vocals, they're just beautiful sounding, like seriously. Static Tensions is just a gorgeous record, but at the same time, it's ugly as fuck. Like, I, I love it. Like, the riffs are great, but like, you know, you're taking influences from some of the ugliest bands in metal when it comes to like, you know, your sonic prowess you're influenced from I Hate God, you're gonna throw some of that rawness and just heaviness into this album, but also a lot of the clean moments on here are fucking great. They just add to the songs, they don't take away from anything. Just a fucking kick-ass release from Kaesa. Like, if you're getting into this band, I would legitimately start here. I mean, you could start earlier or you could start later. Like, they did get more and more progressive as time went on, just like Mastodon and Baroness, but if you like those early, like, Baroness albums and the first two Mastodon albums, you're gonna love this. Like, just seriously, trust me. Like, if you like Remission by Mastodon, yeah, you are going to dig Kaesa's Static Tensions. Just a great, great release right here. And, like, Baroness's uh, Red Album as well. Oh, my God. It's just... This is such a fucking amazing love letter to the Atlanta, Georgia scene. Which is where all those bands originate from. Baroness, Mastodon. That's all from Georgia. So, throw another one onto the list of bands from Georgia that, you know made it out of that fucking state and became one of the bigger bands in the underground. And uh, Kaesa did it on Prosthetic Records and I think they did a fucking great job. Like, seriously, this is an awesome, awesome album. It has aged beautifully. I love the way this sounds right now. Like, Static Tensions is just one of those albums that it never really got old to me, but I hadn't listened to it for a while, so I felt like I was slacking, so once I threw this back on and just took a few notes, I was like, yo, I need to fucking pick this up on wax in the near future. I love the sound of this album, like, it's just so sick, especially with fucking headphones. I really like listening to this when I ride my bike. It's just, it's just good, and especially I get to listen to it with headphones, and it's way more enjoyable. I just love cruising down the street and blasting this CD. Well, not CD, you know what I mean, blasting this album. But 
great, great stuff. If you like crusty sludge, but at the same time have it be a little bit polished at times, then you are going to love Kaiessa's Static Tensions. If you like your crust and sludge, like filthy I hate God and like fucking his hero's gone, you're probably not going to like Static Tension that much. But those inspirations and influences are on here. It's just, they're not as, like, you know, prevalent. There's more, like, just, like, proggy guitar parts and just awesome songwriting and just, this is, in my opinion, Kaiessa at some of their strongest when it comes to material that they've recorded. And if you ever get a chance to see Kaiessa live, do not sleep on it. They are amazing in a live setting, I swear. But, um, yeah. You need to check out Kaiessa Static. Uh, Tensions, sorry. And, um, you need to listen to Witch. Self-titled. This is so fucking good, as you've probably heard in the background. An amazing, amazing self-titled album. Just... Awesome riffage, killer stuff from members of Dinosaur Jr. and a couple other projects, which I forget. And just in case you want some bigger artwork, here's a CD version. Which self-titled. And this is the TP Records version, while this is the Burger Records cassette. So get into which self-titled and uh, I would check out paralyzed as well and Kaiessa static tensions I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10 J just because I know this isn't gonna be for everybody this is you know if you like your sludge a little bit proggy then yeah but if you like your sludge you know boiling in the fucking swamp then this isn't probably for you, but you still are going to find stuff you like about it. So, give it a listen. Let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. You guys are the fucking best. Hails. Happy Friday.